Hey guys, welcome back to another server video. It's been a little while since I've done one of these and I wanted to bring you guys up to date on some of the changes on the server and in addition to that, some of the really cool stuff that's being built by uh, various people. Um, so a couple of things have changed on the server since um, the 1.4.7 update um, just due to problems with plugins and, and such. But I wanted to cover basically some of the features that we have here um, and give you kind of a rundown. So the first thing I wanted to mention is um, the rules on this server really quickly. Um, there is no griefing. We do not allow griefing. Just wanted to be really clear on that from the start. Uh, it is a PvP server, so you've got to expect to be killed and do some killing yourself for that matter. Um, what else? Um, okay, we don't. We're pretty flexible in terms of language and that kind of thing. All that we ask is that you don't be an ass to people. You know, if you're an ass, we won't like you. And it's as simple as that. I mean, the rules really don't need to be more complicated than that. Just, you know, be be reasonable. Be nice, guys. <laughs> um, right, okay, so that aside. So when you spawn, you spawn in this castle here. Um, first of all, we've got multiple worlds. We've got the end, we've got the nether, which is kind of typical. We've got a skylands, which I'll show you really quickly. Um, it's, you know, it's just a skylands world in the snow with lots of void so be careful about that um, there's a few houses and stuff going on up here um, we've also got a games world which right now is um, currently offline because I'm in the process of changing the games um, some of the games that we're gonna have there within the next week hopefully um, we've got a King of the Hill mode coming which I think will be a lot of fun King of the Ladder which I'm sure a lot of you are aware of and um, we've also got a uh, zombie survival as well, which any of you, any of you uh, that are familiar with Call of Duty zombies, um, it's like that. You have up to four players in a map. There, there will be multiple maps eventually. Um, you get points for killing zombies. You can use those points to buy new weapons off signs in the map. There's mystery boxes. There's perks. It's going to be cool. Uh, I'm, I'm working on that right now. Um, so we've got a pretty big spawn area. It's uh, actually, let me fly up and show it to you. It's pretty big. It's like a big medieval city, which is pretty cool. There's vendors selling stuff. There's even guys that give you quests, as you can see here. They're randomly located. Uh, these houses, you can rent them, and you can build in them, you know, and put whatever you want in there. Let's just get rid of that. There you go. Um... There's market areas, which, hang on, I'll just fly to them. It's going to be a lot easier if I fly. Uh, there's two market areas. There's market south, market north. Um, and they sell various things like weapons, food, you know, the usual kind of stuff. And then this big t building with the clock tower, you can, um, there's, it's actually a store, and you can buy a bunch of stuff in there. Um, just basically any kind of blocks and stuff, as well as some, some other things. The general rule is if it's craftable, you can't buy it, you have to craft it yourself. There's a few exceptions, but you know, you can see all the ores, the blocks and stuff here. Um, there's records and heads and stuff. We do have a, um, a plugin on here as well, which means that any time that you um, kill a player or a mob, there's a random chance for uh, their head to drop, which is cool. Like, um, I've got some Enderman heads here, which I got from killing Endermans, so those are cool. Um, now, I wanted to cover this really quickly. This is our Peacekeeper Sponge. Now, this is a PvP server. Um, there are a few protected areas, specifically Spawn and some cities, which I'll cover later. Now, um, what we wanted to avoid was, you know, it would be pretty sucky if you were, you know, minding your own business, building in your house, and all of a sudden somebody sneaked up and killed you in your own house. So what this sponge does is you just place it anywhere in your home. It can be underground, it can be in a ceiling, you know, wherever. You can hide it underground. Um, and that disables PvP um, in uh, a set region. I think it's 20 by 20. Um, and you can put a couple of those down. I think you can put up to 10 of those down. So you can protect a pretty large area of your property. Now, don't go placing them in the wild. If I see them in the wild, I will delete them. Um, but, you know, if you want them to protect your land, you can. So you don't have to worry about people killing you in your own home. What else have we got? Um, okay, now we do have... Um, we don't use warps on this server, we use a system called Quick Travel. Um, and basically what that means is that, kind of like an actual RPG for those of you familiar with Oblivion and that kind of thing, you have to discover the places before you can then 
quick travel to them. Um, so when you uh, approach a new area, it'll uh, pop up on your screen saying you have discovered a new quick travel. And then when if you do slash QT, it'll give you a list of the areas that you can quick travel to. And a lot of these areas are uh, the ones I've got here on my screen at least are actually dungeons. And you know, I can cover those really briefly. There's a dungeon here as you can see. Uh, they're varying sizes, the name is at the top and the level. So this is only one level deep. And these reset automatically. They have random loot in there. Um, random spawners as well. As you can see that just had a paper and torch. But the deeper that you go into these dungeons, the more stuff you'll find. As you can see there's a creeper. I'm in creative mode so they're not focusing me right now. But you can see there's chests. Get away creeper. There's chests with random loot. And there's also secret doors in these dungeons as well. Now, right off the bat, this looks like a pretty small dungeon. In fact, let me get some torches so you guys can see a little bit better. Now, this looks like a pretty small dungeon. There's pigmen in here. Those are vicious. You have to be really careful. But what you need to look for... I'm going to have to come out of creative mode here for a second. And turn my sound down, I think. Damn. Okay, uh, yeah, let's come out of, let's put god mode on first because I don't want to die. Okay, now see these mossy cobble blocks? Now these can be secret doors and what you need to do is left click on them and they'll open a secret door to the next area. So these dungeons, they might appear small but you need to constantly click on these mossy cobblestone just in case there's secret doors. There you go, there's another one. Some of them lead nowhere, like this. You know, nothing really going on in there, but some of them can lead you to new areas in the dungeon. Uh, I won't show you any more, but there are lots of these dungeons randomly located. And I'm going to reset this one, as soon as I've put some stuff down. There you go. So yeah, those are really fun. Um, we have an amazing map. I need to go back into creative mode. Amazing looking map, as you can see here. Um, the terrain is just amazing. Um... Lots and lots of cool areas. We've got a live map on the forums if you want to check that out as well. Uh, we have uh, protection so you can protect your home so that nobody can enter, nobody can break things and stuff like that. Pretty standard, I guess. Um, we've got the usual grief protection. You know, we can undo griefers and stuff, no problem. Um, what else have we got here? So many things. I mean, the quest system, I guess I haven't really covered that much. Um... The quest system is kind of in the early stages with us. Um, we do have a lot of people now making amazing towns with the intentions of setting up quests. Uh, in fact, I think I'm one right, right next to one here. This is Dommy's area. He's setting up a town and quests. Um, and so maybe, let's see if we fly around, maybe we can show you that. He hasn't finished yet, he's still working on it. He's probably here now, I'd imagine. But you can see he started making his town. The terrain is just awesome. Um, these quests do a lot of things. You can see these are NPCs he's got in his tower here. Let's go and take a quick look at these guys. And there you go, Bernal. And if you right click on them, he's got a quest for you. And doing his quest will lead you on to the next quest. There's actual quest chains in this um, with end, uh, end stages, if you like, and bosses. We've even got... Um, uh, boss mobs which are special they've got special skills they've got a lot more strength a lot more health um, you know so players can actually maybe team up and take on some of those bosses that would be fun um, so this is Dommy's area still working on it but he's got a few buildings in place here it's looking really really nice so this is one of the quest towns that we're that we've got underway right now now we do have some more and I don't have warps there but should be able to find them, I think. Hopefully these guys don't mind too much. Me showing their stuff off. Okay, that's not it. That's an ender farm by the sounds of it. That's not it. It's got to be Jay. Aha. This is it. Okay, so this is Drilly Nana's area. This place looks amazing. Um, again, he hasn't started on the quests. He's creating the town right now. But look at this, guys. So impressive. We've got some really, really talented builders on here. But, you know, these towns, they're going to be used for big quest lines with boss mobs. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. You know, sometimes I feel when, I, when I'm when i playing Minecraft, I don't always feel like building. 
Um, so it's nice then, you know, on a server like this, you've got the distraction of doing some quests or, you know, that kind of thing. So it's always fun. Or doing some PvP. And, of course, we've got the games as well, which will be coming soon. Which is always nice. Um, what else have we got? Now, there's another uh, couple of places that would be really good to show you. Uh, TGF Beta is making another town. Hopefully this is it. Yep, this is a really, really nice town as well. And the terrain around this is just amazing. He, I think he's trying to make um, like a Viking town where, again, we're going to have quests and stuff. Um, as well as shops and, you know, all that kind of thing. So this is a really, really nice looking town that he's working on. I'm, I, I'm just so impressed by uh, what you guys are building. Um, Frank, for those of you that know Frankincense, um, she is also... Whoa, holy homes. Um... She's also making um, a town. Oh, look, Frank just joined. Um, and she's um, making a town of uh, Amazons or Amazonians, um, which is going to have quests as well. Um, she's still, I think she's still early stages right now, but she's been working really hard on it. Um, she's making like a big, big castle thing here, I think. Let's go down here and have a look. Yeah. That's cool. But yeah, there's so much being made, guys. And this this is what we want. We want people to get involved with projects and build stuff together. And we're going to try and arrange some things around that soon. Um, we're always looking for new plugins as well. Actually, I've got um, a post on the new section on the forums. The link will be in the description. Uh, I'm looking for a replacement for one of our plugins, Dragons. Um, we had to remove dragons, unfortunately, um, but I'm looking for a replacement for that. Um, there's so many things I haven't covered, um, like dwarf forges, condensers. Um, we've also got MCMMO here. We've got economy. Um, I, I don't know. There's just so, so, so much stuff. Um, we've got false book too, which is a relative, um, relatively new plugin for us. I've only just put it on. Um, but yeah, this is, is really a lot of stuff going on, guys. I encourage you to go to the website, take a look, and jump on the server and um, see what you think. Um, and like I said, we're, we're always looking for suggestions. If you guys feel that we can uh, improve something in an area, just let us know. Um, I'm always, uh, always open to suggestions. But yeah, guys, uh, not that quick a video, I guess. And to be honest with you, I'd love to be able to cover everything. Um, but I think this video would just be over an hour long, if not longer. So I don't uh, don't think that would be a good idea. Um, there are a, t a ton of tutorials on the forums as well, if you want to check out some of the other features. Um, but what we're trying to do, just to cap off then, is we're trying to make a server where you can come on and build, because, you know, building is what Minecraft is kind of about. Um, but it's also a survival server with, you know, PvP, role-playing, kind of aspects as well for some of you that maybe um, aren't that interested in building perhaps or just fancy a change even and of course you know there's as I said there's the games coming too as well but yeah um, please come and check it out we'll be doing some more videos as soon as the games are up I'll be doing some videos uh, of us playing some of those games which will be cool um, but yeah until then guys I'll see you soon <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.